Yeah, good evening, Tony. You are exactly right. You know, we could all use a little good news in this fight against COVID, right? And keep in mind that the vaccine news from Moderna today, which is very good news, comes on the heels of more good news from Pfizer, that their vaccine is 90% effective. Make no mistake about it, we will need more than one vaccine. A dose of good news. Very, very good news. We're at a point right now, as you know, in the state of Connecticut, where the outbreak is worsening, particularly in Fairfield and New Haven County. We have only weeks to go before we can begin a vaccination program. Preliminary data from Moderna shows their vaccine is nearly 95% effective, although those results could change as the study continues its data collection. It's possible that it's even more effective than that. Uh, it's also possible it could be a little less effective, but still, these are very high figures. The vaccine is the second on track to apply for an emergency use authorization, and 20 million doses could be ready soon. By the end of this year, we said that in the United States, we expect to have 20 million doses. And so I think by the end of the year, hopefully, uh, we could uh, start to vaccinate people. Moderna's trial enrolled 30,000 people. So did Pfizer's. Dr. Howard Foreman of the Yale School of Medicine was one of those people who took a risk in the name of science to receive either the experimental vaccine or a placebo. You won't know which one he got for about four more weeks. It felt like the right thing to do at the time. There's a lot of vaccine hesitancy out there. And there are a lot of people that are afraid of what vaccines might mean. And I think for people that are part of the public health workforce, people who are medical professionals, to show that they're not afraid of being part of a riskier part of the process, the trial part as opposed to the vaccination part, uh, was something, one small thing that I could do at this time. Dr. Foreman got two injections, received three follow-up visits, and has been keeping a diary of any symptoms. They send you home with um, you know, a kit, so that um, if I were to develop symptoms, I can immediately test myself. And they will pick it up from here. All right, and in more good news, Moderna's vaccine also does not require the kind of ultra cold storage that Pfizer's vaccine requires, which means it will be easier to administer to the many masses of people. We're live in Hartford outside the Department of Public Health. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.